Hello, it's me James and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about mending and also five different locations where to find the mending enchantment or some mending loot. So, um, before I actually show you it, um, make sure you go and follow the Discord as we're ever closer to 200 members and obviously at 200 members, we're opening our very own subscriber realm. So, um, make sure you go and be active over there. Um, that being said, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so if you didn't already know, you can never get the mending enchantment from just a normal enchanting table. You've got to use other methods, and hopefully this video will help you. Okay, so no matter how hard you try, you'll never be able to combine the mending enchantment and the infinity enchantment, which is pretty understandable if you know what I mean. Okay, so what does mending do? Mending, um, you can put on pretty much any piece of equipment, all of these pieces of equipment in fact, and um, basically it requires XP to repair them, so you can add it to a piece of equipment and it will just use your XP instead of leveling you up, it will just repair your armor or your sword or whatever you're using. So, to be fair, it's a pretty good enchantment, something that you obviously uh, got to want in your world. Okay, firstly, um, we're going to talk about fishing. Fishing is a really good way to get enchantment books. Okay, you can get all different types of enchantment books, but mainly you can get mending. But there is a few things you can do to actually improve the chances of getting it. Okay, so the best way to go is probably build yourself an AFK fish farm. A little bit like this if you're on Bedrock. On Java, there's so many different versions that work. However, this one um, does require an auto clicker. Um, here's a little example um, of me using it without an auto clicker. You just have to obviously cast like a normal fish fishing, um, like you're just normally fishing. Um, again, it, you still get the same results. However, there's still ways to improve. That's right, if it's raining um, on the bobber, then it will actually reduce the time of your like, catches by 20%. So um, it's always important to remember um, it, the best time to fish, either AFK fish or normally fish, is obviously whilst it's raining. Okay, so before the village and pillager update, the only way to get a mending book from a pillager was obviously the woodland mansion. Um, however, that was pretty far away. So when obviously um, raids were introduced in the villager and pillager update, it was pretty awesome because not only be, uh, could you start a normal raid in a village, but it also meant that you could make a fully automatic AFK raid farm, okay, which literally made you can automatically get mending books like without doing anything all you had to do was build this design however unfortunately the killing mechanism on this doesn't work in the new update um but there's so many other raid farms that do actually work um which i definitely advise you checking out um because they're also awesome for other loot as well okay so number three is the end dungeon um just before you get to the end you go through the portal you want to check the whole end dungeon for chests um obviously that wasn't a, um, uh, a mending book in that first chest however it still was an enchanted book so the chances are you can still get the mending book from those chests however um i found a mending book when i was in the library so it does kind of make sense in the library you know finding enchanted books um obviously make sure you search both chests and sometimes there's also two libraries in your end dungeon so make sure you just search you've checked all the libraries but as you can see in this chest here there's a number of um, enchanted books including mending which is exactly what we want so that is number three Okay, number four is my personal favourite, and that's to go looting in the end cities. Now, the end cities provide perfect um, places to, to find mending uh, loot. Okay, so it's, it's not a guaranteed thing. Um, like here, I don't, I don't know if I find any. However, um, if you go and search a number of end cities, you're almost guaranteed to find some kind of loot with mending on it, whether it's a sword or a piece of armor. And as you can see, this is my end shop. I've got a few different items with mending on it just from looting. Okay, so I decided to save the best till last, and villager trades are definitely the best way to acquire mending books, okay? So you've got to max out the trades with the villager, and eventually they'll give you um, either a decent trade or not a very good trade for a mending book. But either way, you will get a mending book. Um, um, this is definitely the best way. I think a lot of people would agree. Um, so yeah, this is probably the best way to go. Get yourself some villagers, go online, have a little look at some villager breeders, um, and get one of those made because, like I say, this is probably the most efficient way to get mending. Okay, one last bonus tip for everybody. Skeletons have a chance to actually drop mending bows once you kill them. Obviously, this will be, um, increased chance if you use a looting three sword. So... 
really the six little tips there for you guys to get mended okay so there we have it there's five different locations where to find the mending enchantment plus one bonus location so um i hope this um obviously helped you out if it did let me know by you smashing the like button and also if you're new here make sure you subscribe with that notification bell on because we're literally growing every single day i just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who is subscribed already and has been supporting my channel because obviously without you guys i wouldn't be motivated to make these videos so so um, that, that's literally everything. I will catch you on the next one.